What's happening, man, Sacks? <laughs> so, when y'all sent me this, looks like it's going viral already. Got a few million views. It says, what if the man steel was in color? In fact, let me get a little bit more light in here. Some bitches. All right. Um, so, yeah, what if man of steel was in color? So, let's check this out. Let's see what it's all boots. at what might have been Zack Snyder's Man of Steel in color. It gave him more color. Man of Steel launched Superman into the age of modern superhero blockbusters. The movie delivered on big action, which was missing from previous Superman yes. films. But the bleak tone and even bleaker color grading borrowed from the successful Dark Knight films left Superman looking like a corpse off of CSI. In my world, it means hope. So it got us wondering, what if Man of Steel was in color? We brought the movie into the lab and tried to turn back time and restore some of the film's natural color. The results? Interesting. top you see, believe it or not, the untouched film. We haven't altered that in any way. Right. And below is Video Lab's color restoration. What's apparent is that hidden under all that darkness and desaturation is a Superman movie that looks like Superman. <laughs> Zack Snyder had a beautiful looking movie. So what went wrong? We know from set photos that the Superman costume is actually bright red and blue. The colors were there until post-production when they decided on this dark aesthetic. In a way, it's hard to blame them. Think about it. DC and Warner Brothers enjoyed massive financial success with Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight films. True. But the one True. time since 2006 they tried to make another big superhero movie, it crashed and burned. I know, right? <laughs> so they went with the tried and true dark and gritty. But what works for Batman doesn't necessarily work for Super. It begs the question, which movie would you rather watch? I would like to see it in color now, but I love the first one, so I'm fine. <laughs> one thing is for certain. The colorists working on Man of Steel's sequel, Batman vs. Superman, mm -hmm. which comes out March 2016, might be smart to leave that color alone, <laughs> at least when it comes to Superman. After cool. all, Batman is in that movie, so they can have their cake and eat it too. That kind of interesting. Nice visual contrast yeah. with the characters. Just Batman about that. versus Superman is taking inspiration from Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns, isn't it? Well, look at Superman there. The bottom line: Superman should fly in blue skies, not <laughs> gray ones. <laughs> it's funny you notice it really more when you see the comparison. That win is just on the screen. You know. I was fine with it, but that would be nice just to see it in all color to see which one I liked the best. I felt the color was fine. I felt as though it, it, it seemed to me as though the suit was muted. You know, certain colors were muted for the suit and stuff, and I know certain people were angry about that. They didn't like it. I was okay with it. I never felt as though it had a Dark Knight feel to the movie. I did notice that, you know, things were, you know, darker, not as... <laughs> Truth and the American way. You know, I, I know it wasn't like that, you know, but... I, like I said, I was fine with it. I liked it. Um, at points, the action was kind of um, overstimulating, you know? Yeah, man. It was like when you go ski and the mushroom tip is real sensitive. Ah, 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 ah. You know me, man? And it, shut up. Fuck out the way. You know what I'm saying? It just, sometimes it was just like, it was funny because at the time I went with my ex 
and her sister and her husband. And her husband was like, yeah, it was good, he said. But sometimes the action was like, I was like, yeah, it was overstimulated. It was just so much of it. It was like Dragon Ball Z type epic fights. And I was fine with it. You know, I was fine with it. You know, after a while, it almost seemed a little too much. And I, I, I can, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be a fanboy and say the movie was perfect. But I liked it for what it was. First attempt, at really the, the best attempt at bringing him back since the whole Christopher Reeve thing. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. You know, would you rather it have been in the color that they showed? Or do you think it's fine the way it is? I um, I personally am split. I like definitely like to see it in the real colors, um, but I'm fine with how it is. All right. Anyway, post comments down below. Let me know what you think about the whole scenario. And you know what? I would like to. You know what? How they said, well, Batman's in this, so you can do all his scenes muted and dark, and then whenever you see Superman, he can be bright. I think that would be interesting if they did that. That'd be that'd be more that that'd be that'd make the movie actually more artistic, in my in my opinion. Uh, and be like, damn! Every time I see Batman, everything's dark and rainy. And then you see Superman, everything's all bright and you know, ha! Huh? Brand new day, the sun, shiny, justice, Americana, hot dogs, apple pie, wind blowing. With my curl on my head. You know, that type of shit. Anyway, like I say, I'm done talking about this. Post comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you like my video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you didn't, you are un-American and un-Superman. But you should still hit the like button, subscribe, and share. One million subscribers. Woo!